So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. And today's video, we're talking about Zumo streaming box. You might have this confused with Zumo Play or Zumo TV, which can currently be found in your app store on your Fire Stick, Apple TV, Nvidia Shield, and so on and so forth. But what Zumo did, they went out, they created a dedicated box that has some features. And I've received a couple questions about this. So today I just wanted to quickly give a brief overview, not a review, overview of what it is and who it's meant for so if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go all right so like i said in the intro zumo tv zumo play has been around for a while it is a free streaming application it can be found in the app store great app great looking application actually it's in my top five of best free streaming apps so go ahead and check that video out if you haven't done so already but what they did is went out created a box and now you have the option to buy a dedicated box with preloaded apps on it that allows you to watch television paid as well as free television so before we jump into the price and let's see what apps are available. All right, so each category is gonna have an app. So on the comedy, you can see they have Fail Army, iComedy, Pranks, Bruce Drew. On the DUI, they have a couple more. Educational, Entertainment, let's see on the Lifestyle, QBC, Movies and TV. All right, as you can see they have Film Rise, Bravo, Plex is available as well. Pluto TV is available. So uh, Zumo plays on here, YouTube TV. So it is going to have your free streaming application. It is going to have your uh, paid application, the popular ones like Netflix, Comedy Central, so on and so forth. But just talking to a representative, I did reach out just to get some clarification because I was confused, uh, I guess, just didn't see the point of having this device. Uh, but uh, one of the things that they've done, Zumo, they have partnered with Xfinity and with spectrum to have those streaming services be an option when you set up your device so essentially you go through the setup ask you which provider you have you select the provider apps ready for you when you get to the page you can go ahead and sign into your service it becomes a decent cable box and the cool thing about this is that it does have a decent remote with numbers on it so let's say if you sign into your spectrum account you do have the numbers where you can dial a specific channel so those options are there so a couple of things that kind of rub me the wrong way is one is the pricing so go to shop now you do have a couple options to buy uh, xfinity is going to become available soon spectrum it is now available um if you have spectrum cable or you can buy it directly from zumo and you can essentially use that as a streaming box uh select the buy now price is 59 dollars. so what are we comparing this against what are we comparing this next to fire stick the chromecast with google tv your tivo stream 4ks um your me boxes your on 4k streaming boxes and that's where I would try to fit this in. However, this doesn't quite fit. And the problem with that is it doesn't have a Google Play Store. It doesn't have an app store. What you get pre-installed is the applications that you get pre-installed. There's no way to actually go in and install new applications. Everything comes pre-loaded. So this is going to be a lockdown system. You're not going to be able to go out and get new applications at least that's the information that I got from the rep. So I did ask what operating system uh, this was running on. The rep uh, basically said it is running on Zumo's operating system, which I believe it's probably a, a Linux based system, but no way to tell. But it isn't going to be your typical Android TV or, or Google TV OS. It is Comcast's entertainment operating system, whatever the hell that means. But I know that that's not something I want in my house. As far as the, the technical aspect, you can see some of it here. Uh, it is HDR10, Dolby Vision, 4K at 60 frames per second. It does have Dolby, Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Most Stream. The box itself is going to have HDMI port in the back. Uh, 10 100 ethernet port as well which is going to max out at 100 megabits per second so probably better off using wi-fi on this one it does have its own power barrel do wi-fi as well 802.11 ac bluetooth 5.0 and it does have an ir remote nice looking box though it's a shame that one they locked it down <laughs> um it's also a shame that it isn't a operating system that we'd like, like your Android TV. If it had Android TV on this, this would be a solid box. In my opinion, not 
a lot of places to go with this, especially being at a lockdown. The only way I can see this being useful is if you're a cable TV subscriber, uh, if you have Spectrum, if you have Xfinity and you want a, a device dedicated to that service, then you can use that. And even then, I, I don't really think it's needed because you can always get the apps. You can buy a Fire Stick that's half the price of this, still get the full functionality. Don't want to crap on this, but everything that this does, I can get it with a Fire Stick at half the price. I can get it with a Chromecast with Google TV, which allows me to do other things. So personally for me i wouldn't purchase this but let me know what you guys think let me know in the comment section if you pick this up what your experiences are and also let me know if you would recommend it i've seen a couple comments folks are returning them they're not updating not doing what they're supposed to do they're slow whatever the case is but um i won't be able to form that opinion because i'm not going to buy it i'm not going to review it I, I just don't think it's worth it when there's so many options out there so just wanted to quickly go over this my thoughts and opinions uh like i said most of my information that i got i did get it directly from a uh, a representative spoke to so as far as the operating system not having a google play store apps all being pre-installed no way to install new applications um pricing again is 60 dollars, and it, it's a little bit overpriced i just don't see a place for it currently uh drop your thoughts in the comment section if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one